Yesterday we talked about the use effect hook. Today we are going to use that hook to fetch data from an API. The use effect hook makes it incredibly easy to fetch or retrieve data from an API. So today we are going to retrieve some dog images from the given URL. So first of all, we need to import use state and use effect into our app component. So today we will be experimenting with the original app component itself. Using an API is a very important skill that will enhance your resume. APIs are easy to use and easier to maintain. Next, inside our function app, we are going to insert some constant and a function. So we'll write let, we will use the let keyword here. Let is used to declare block scoped variable. A variable which has been declared using let cannot be redeclared. So our variable name is dog image and the function used is set dog image. We will assign it to use state and insert the initial value to null. After using our use state hook, we are going to add the use effect hook in our app component and inside that we are going to insert our arrow function and then assign it to the fetch function. Within our use effect function, we will use set dog image to set dog image to the URL that we have received. The URL for the website is present in the description box below. You can either copy it from there or you can pause this video and manually type the URL. The component will be responsible for displaying an image of a random dog that is received from the API that we are fetching from. Next, we use dog image as the source for our image so that we can display the random image of the dog. The fetch keyword is used to request to the server and load the information in the web page. The request can be of any APIs that return the data of the format JSON or XML. So it is a promise. Here we are using our response as response.json. Another thing you notice here is the then method that we have used twice. Then method has been defined in the promise API. It is used to deal with asynchronous tasks such as API calling. Previously, callback functions were used instead of this method, which made the code difficult to maintain. Now we will fill our return statement. The API we are using has a few different endpoints that we can use. But for this example, we will just use the random image endpoint. The endpoint will simply return an object containing a message key and a status key. We are only concerned about the message key here. It contains the URL that we use as the source of our image. We can also add attributes like height, width to our image tag as we do in other CSS styling. So as we can see, we every time we refresh, we get a random image of a dog. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video and use of API was understood.